So today, we're playing the Pyromancer, and we may have broken the Excalibur by using three Amulets of Energy, two Amulets of Feasting, and one Amulet of Life that makes Excalibur do crazy things just like this. So now all our food items are going to trigger even faster here, on top of everything. Our opponent is stacking up a lot of poison, but our mana is already stacked up here, and honestly, even with the Book of Ice here, our mana should be able to consistently scale up here. But hey, check this run out, and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go and jump some ranked games with the Pyromancer and scene just so I can do today. Okay, we are going to be offering up quite a bit here. I do want to keep our dagger because I potentially want to go for a hammer dagger bolt. But holy moly, we are definitely going to be taking this rainbow badge. We're going to be offering that up. We're going to be offering up our whetstone. I'm going to be taking this broom and we are going to be offering this up too. Now I'm going to be selling our shiny shell in favor of taking a water susk. And that is going to be a crazy, crazy amount of gold to offer up in round one. So we'll see. What sort of craziness item are we going to get? Are we going to be able to even win this round here? Now, Rainbow Badge would be a lot of fun here to actually keep, but that is five gold into our offering ball here. And smashed, we actually won round one here. But let's go ahead and see what sort of craziness are we going to get today. We got the Amulet of Alchemy, Amulet of Feasting, and we got a Frying Pan. So we could go for an Excalibur type build if we do actually want to. Okay, we're definitely going to be buying this frying pan since we got one here too. We're going to slide it in for now. Now we could take the wooden sword, but I'm going to leave it right now. Let's take healing arms, offer that up too. And let's take this molten dagger. Make sure to craft this up now. I do want to reserve this a lot of bag, but I'm going to be taking the big old banana for right now. But until then, we're going to be rolling on. Get our storage next round. We're going to be offering this up. I'm going to keep the amulet feasting here, even though it's going to be doing very little. But the amulet of alchemy. He's going to give us some buffs here at the very beginning. Which honestly did give us a power, which is kind of crazy here. Because it is going to increase the damage of our weapons. Even though it is only frying pan and a dagger. But our opponent here just has way too much value towards us as of right now. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. Super, super unfortunate. It is what it is. However, we got ourselves an amulet of energy here. Which is going to be pretty good, especially with the frying pan. We also got ourselves a customer card, which will actually help us get that stamina potion. So all in all, it's actually looking pretty darn good for us here. I'm going to be taking a big old banana. I actually do not want to offer that up. I do want to take this in hopes of finding a different food item here. Which is a big old banana. We'll take it for right now. Another big old banana. We actually do not really want here. So with that, we do want to make sure Amulet Feasting is targeting all our food items. Our Amulet of Energy is targeting the Molten Dagger so it scales up. Actually, we have no heat in, so it's not going to scale up here. Which is not super, super great. We're going to roll on like this for right now. And we're not offering up anything in our offering bolt, but... It is what it is for right now. But we'll see. We are going to begin a point with basket, shovel, wooden sword, or ranger here. Our DPS is 3.4. Their DPS is... Honestly, going to be a lot more than our DPS. They also have regen, which is going to be problematic. With the amateur feasting here, our food items are going to be triggering... Pretty fast here. And... Actually, the Amulet Feasting definitely coming in clutch here. Okay, early Draconic Orb is kind of crazy here. Alright, we're going to take cheese on sale. Holy moly, thanks. There's a custom card here. Now, we do want to roll looking for some storage here. But unfortunately, we are going to have to take the stamina sack. However, I do want to keep our flames. I do want to keep all our items here. We could sell a custom card here, potentially. I think we're going to have to sell our custom card and one flame here. In favor of actually taking it. Because they do want as much food items in as possible. We want to switch this over here. And that is the best we're going to get. Still no more flames. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. But we do have a burning coal. So we have a chance to generate up some heat for Molten Dagger. With this, we should be able to scale up a crazy, crazy amount of max HP. And all in all, should be fantastic here. However, we are going to begin a Reaper with the Relic Case. Which is going to be scale up to damage here. But awesome, all the same. Okay, I will be taking any item on sale. I do want to roll here. Because we'll be taking a stamp sack. So we can start offering up some items in our offering ball. To generate up some flames here. Now, we do want to roll again. Looking for a little bit more storage. We're going to roll on like this right now, actually. We can roll with this to increase the damage on our frame pan by a little bit more here. In other words, we go. We're going to be offering up our healing herbs and our lump of cold here. To try and get a bit of a flame. While also getting... A little bit of a buff from our lip call. However, our opponent's going to have a lot of damage with that spirit here. 
We should be able to scalp our max HP. And we should be able to generate up a lot of healing here. Which should be pretty darn good for Sir. Actually, we got another power. And smashing here. Okay, we got ourselves a pair of gloves, which is not too bad here. It's not super, super great. Now, we do want to take this Hunger Blade instead of this Molten Dagger. So this round, I'm definitely going to be... I'm going to let the Offering Ball take our Molten Dagger. I'm going to be taking this Fanny Pack so we can add in our Hunger Blade. I'm going to be taking the Boots. We're going to be offering this up too. I'm going to sell a Stone to roll once here. Now, we could go for a Hammer Dagger build, which would be pretty darn good. We're going to move on like this right now. Now, we did move our Amulet of Energy to be targeting our cheese. So we get that little bit more max HP and some buffs there. But until then, we're just going to be offering up these boots and the Molten Dagger. So, Molten Dagger should be dealing that extra bit of damage here. But we definitely want to let go of it since we're going to have this setup. Now, we do want to go for Mana Thirst with this too. We should definitely, definitely be able to carry here. And smash it here. Okay. Holy moly, that is a mana thirst. Literally, just have to ask for it, and it shows up. Can't complain. We can also take another unidentified amulet and can offer it up if you do not actually like it here. I'm going to take it. Another amulet of energy. Actually, this could be crazy insane. I do want to keep both these here. I'm going to sell a spear since it is a spear we actually literally can't make use for here. Because the stamina is not going to be able to handle it. We could also go for a blood start here instead of the prime pan. We could also just go. Pandemonium here. I'm going to sell another stone so we can actually add this in. Add back in our garlic and that should be pretty darn good. We'll slot this over here. I'm going to offer these pair of gloves just so we get some more flames here. But we're going to continue on. Getting a crazy, crazy amount of amulets here. We're going to be refunding a lot of our buffs here. Now, it doesn't actually need it to be connected to a frying pan here. Once you craft up the Excalibur, we can just tag our food items to increase the speed of them here. And then it'll also refund 25% of our buffs used. Which is going to be crazy, crazy good with the frying pan itself. Excalibur, I mean. However, our opponent is dealing a lot of damage. They do have a ton of healing here. That spiked shield doing a lot of work for opponent here. And it's going to be super close. But one HP in the dream here. Holy moly, that cheese putting in a lot of work for sure. So with that, we can go for something a little bit crazy here. We can go Burning Banner to be scaling up a ton of regen here. We'll also remove our opponent's buffs. We can also go Firebender. However, this does eat up a lot of our, sta or a lot of our mana. We could also go Dark Lantern if we did take a Pandemonium, which would be kind of awesome here. Dragon's Nest, I actually do not want to take here. However, Crymancer could be kind of a crazy show here. I'm going to take Crymancer for right now. Now, Frostbite is kind of awesome here. But is that something we actually do want to take here? It would be super, super strong right now. And would honestly be crazy not to take. But hey, I'm definitely going to be crazy today. I'm going to be taking good old chili pepper. That's another cheese. That's a pineapple. We are definitely going to go for an Excalibur type build today. However, I'm going to have to roll here once at least. Just so we can actually put as much food items around the frying pan. Now we're going to have our frozen flame targeting our mana thirst as of right now. But until then, we're going to be moving on. Then we could also go for cheese goober here. I do really, really, really want to get Excalibur here. And especially with two cheese, we should be able to scale up pretty much twice as much life here. We should be able to inflict a little bit of frost. It's not going to be crazy amount of frost because it is going to be solely relying on generating up heat. And we're not going to be generating up much heat until we get our Excalibur gone. But we'll see. We are going to begin chain up Wolf Doom. They're going to be stacking up a ton of block. They're going to be removing our buffs. They're going to have a ton of healing. And so far... Smash near. Now you could take a second hunger blade. Actually, do not want to take it. I'm going to let go of the fly garrick, which does mean our food items are going to be a little bit less here. I'm going to take tiny little storage. I'm going to be adding this in. That should be pretty darn good. You do want to roll. And here we go. This is going to be the start of our whole setup right now. It's going to be turbo insane. So we're going to actually sell all this stuff right now. We're going to be crapping up Excalibur here. And we're going to need a ton more man generation. We're also going to need another chili pepper because we're going to be trying to stack up a crazy, absurd amount of heat. So our frozen flame is going to stack up that crit chance on our mana thirst here. However, until then, we're going to just have to roll on. Now, opponent is running Nocturnal Lockleafter, which is going to be a lot of healing for our opponent here. 
Especially with Cubert, they're going to be stacking up in power, which is increasing their damage here. So unfortunately, our opponent is... Has a kind of a nuts setup right now. Super, super unfortunate, it is what it is. Okay, speaking of a crazy, crazy shop. We also got the unique item on Settling Presence, which will deal a lot of our healing as damage. Which we're going to have a lot of healing. We also got ourselves a Mana Orb, which is exactly what we want to. And we also got a Chili Pepper. Well, we reserved this, so... We're going to take the Chili Pepper for this one. We're going to take the Chili Pepper for this round. It's a banana this time. Unfortunately, we just can't take our Mana Orb right then, and we're going to have to take our Unsettling Presence as well. Right now, we're going to have to sort our inventory. We are going to need a lot of storage here. We'll be back in a second while we sort our inventory out. Okay, so we managed to move our setup to our Amulet of Energies, are targeting our cheese, so we actually skill up our max HP a little bit faster. Now, Excalibur is going to get as much value as we possibly can as of right now. And with that, we should be in a pretty good spot here. Now, I'm going to sell this big old banana and these items right now, so we can actually take another Mana Orb. The problem lies in actually fitting this in. We can remove this Amulet of Energy as of right now. But until then, we are going to be taking our Unsettling Presence next round because we're going to have a ton of healing here. We should be able to stack up a crazy amount of heat and max HP and a good bit of spikes too. However, it is going to take a little bit longer to get that mana going here. Once we do get it going, we should also be able to inflict a lot of frost on our opponent here. However, they are going to resist it with their lead armor here, but our damage is looking pretty good here. And so far, smashing here. Okay, we're definitely, definitely going to have to take this letter back. So we can actually add this back in too. We're also going to take Unsettling Presence, even though it's going to eat up some of our mana here. Or some of our buffs, which is not super, super great. But we'll have to do. But until then, we are going to be rolling on. We do want to get more storage here and potentially more chilies, more cheeses. And maybe even a carrot here. However, our opponent's going to be dealing a lot of damage with Blood Turn here. And actually... It's just going to be way too much damage for us right now. However, we could take a fanfare. We're going to grab it here. We do want to roll here. And we do also want to... We definitely need blueberries here. Holy moly, that's something we have been missing out on. That's another chili pepper, which is going to be fantastic. But I do also want to add in fanfare because it will be man generation and power stacking. Which will be fantastic overall. But until then, we're going to be moving on. Now, we definitely blew, definitely been missing out by not having blueberries in because that will be just consistent mana scaling first here. And yeah, as you can see, we are just going to be constantly procking here with two amulets of energy. And it's just going to be absurd here. <laughs> it's literally going to be absurd here. So let's take our chili pepper. More cheese I do want to take, but we're going to have to look for some storage here. And actually, fantastic. That's going to be really, really fantastic. And we could gamble here. And take another one. We're going to take it. Amulet life is honestly going to be absurd here. Now, at this point, I'm actually going to take out a garlic right now. We just want as much chili as possible, so then we get an absurd amount of heat stacking. However, we do have to survive until we generate up enough mana here. Once we get our mana going, every time it procs, we should be able to consistently just scale up crazy amounts here. And it's just insane. Just insane. However, we only did inflict 7 gold, which is not turbo insane, actually. It might have been better to actually go with something else, but let's go ahead and see if we can actually make this even more crazy here. Especially with taking more cheese. Let's go ahead and grab it. More blueberries. Okay, blueberries is going to be pretty good. That's more cheese here. We're going to sell our garlic to roll once, and we're going to be needing this extra storage and more chili peppers. And we could also sack pineapple here, but pineapple is going to be scaling damage first too. Unfortunately, I don't think we can actually add in this cheese as of right now. So, we're going to be rolling on. It's also going to be healing, so our unsettling presence is going to be dealing that extra damage here. But especially with the Amulet Life, we are just literally going to... It's just going to be too crazy here. Holy moly, this is insane. Now, actually, we get one Prismatic Orb here. We should be able to scale up our mana pretty fast from the very beginning. We should be crazy insane. I'm going to actually move our Unsettling Presence down here. So we can actually add in a cheese in this position, so we actually make this go a little bit faster. And we can actually move this down here for right now. 
So at least then we're getting as much value as we possibly can from our amulet feasting. Now we did. I want to take another chili pepper here. I do also want to roll here. We could also take the bird to increase the speed of our Excalibur here. But I'm not going to take it as right now. That's a book of ice, which we could use our mana here. Actually, this might actually be a play here. Even though it's going to use up a lot more mana here, we are going to grab it and try it out here. Just to see if it is going to be any good. But for right now, we're going to be adding in our chili pepper. And we could also have our blueberries in beside our Excalibur here. But with our two arms of energy here, we're actually not going to need it here. Actually, let's make sure we actually preserve our book of ice. And onwards we go. However, Hard Darkness, Burning Banner, we are going to be removing our buffs here. We shouldn't be too bad. Let's just look at our mana right now. Consistently over 11 mana, even though we're using up quite a bit. And we're Turbo Skilling and Smashing here. Okay, we did get a Shiny Ball, which is going to be kind of insane here. But we're going to add this in for right now. Now this might, we might actually have to sell this. We're going to have to serve this Prismatic Orb here. We're going to roll, we're going to take tiny little storage, we're going to add in our Chili Pepper. Once again. But until then, we are going to be moving on. Let's go and check, is this going to use up too much of our mana here? However, it does get refunded with the Amulet of Energy here, so... Might not be too much of a misplay here. However, Chen Up is going to be turbo deleting our buffs too. But we'll see. So far, we are going to be able to stack up... Even more frost here. Yeah, it's going to go nuts, and that's actually insane here. Holy moly, this is actually one of the most insane Excalibur builds I've actually played. Well, one of the more well-rounded builds here. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, we could take another Undead Phenomenal here. And we're going to take it, because because these Amulets have been nuts here. We got another Amulet Feasting, which we are going to slot in here for right now. It does mean we cannot really take our Shiny Ball. So we're going to take it in the final round, but we're going to roll here. Let's roll again, and we're going to be taking a Slammer Sack, because then we can actually add this in here. And that is going to increase our food items trigger speed by a little bit more here. Which is Turbo Nuts. I'm going to save our gold for the final rounds. We're going to be taking our Prismatic Orb here. But we're going to be moving on. So now all our food items are going to trigger even faster here. On top of everything. Our opponent is stacking up a lot of poison. But our mana is already stacked up here. And honestly, even with the Book of Ice here. Our mana should be able to consistently scale up here. And smash here. Our opponent didn't actually even put a real dent in this here. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue on for right now. Our damage here is looking pretty good. We're going to be taking a shiny ball. We're going to be rolled here. And... Okay. Should we do it? Should we take one final one here? Let's go ahead and do it. What's going to be the amulet of energy? Holy moly, this is literally going to be insane. However, we do need to fit in our prismatic orb into a better position here. That is for sure. Just to get that mana from the very beginning. So I'm going to have to sort your inventory out and be back in a second. I'll do that here. Okay, so this is going to be our final setup right now. It's all stemming from getting Excalibur here and all these amulets here. But our Excalibur is going to be triggering only one blueberries, which is kind of going to be absurd here. It's going to be triggering a crap ton of chilies, a good bit of cheese, and one of pineapple and one banana. Because we are going to need that stamina here, especially running these two weapons here. Now, with two amulets of feasting here, are going to be targeting the majority of our food items. Which is going to be pretty good here. However, it's not going to be targeting any blueberries here. But that should be okay, especially since we have our blueberries in this position. Because we're going to get 12 mana off the bat with Prismatic Orb here. Which does mean we are going to have that instant scaling from Excalibur here. And with three amulets of energy here, we're never going to dip below the Excalibur here. So every time this hits, it's going to be scaling up all our food items here. Which is going to be straight up crazy. And anytime we heal, we're going to be dealing at 30% of the healing as damage. And we're going to be scaling up crit chance on our mana thirst here. Which is going to be crazy insane. But let's go ahead and see. It's going to be enough here. We're also going to be scaling up that damage on our mana thirst here. Because we are going to be refunding an absurd amount of mana here. So our mana is never going to drop, drop down below. It's actually going to be increasing here. And this is literally going to be over here in seconds. And holy moly was this build actually crazy insane here. This build was definitely crazy insane. One of the most crazy Excalibur here. Now, in terms of scale and max HP, definitely not crazy in that sense, but just the whole build overall. In The fight was over within 10 seconds, and we managed to deal just about 500 damage here, which is about 60 DPS, which is 
Kind of awesome here. Manator stealing the majority of it. One thing we do have to recognize from this whole build is how much mana we generated in 10 seconds here. 120 mana and the majority of it coming from the, am the amulets of energy here. Which is just straight up absurd here. Holy moly, once we got one shiny ball, we just had enough mana from the very beginning. So every time our Excalibur hits, it just triggers all of food items here. And especially adding in this Book of Ice, even though it uses up lots of our mana too. It did inflict a lot of cold, which does just counter opponents here. It doesn't allow our opponent to play the game as we just go turbo nuts here. And even adding in, and honestly adding in the unsettling presence here, didn't provide too much damage here. Even if it was eaten up some of here. Also forgot to mention in 10 seconds we had a 71 healing DPS. Which is absurd. Our opponent actually only dealt this much damage in that time period. We did survive 4 lives left here. Let's go and see how much rank points we got here. Plus 15 ranks up quite a bit. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here for now. Just want to say thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment or even consider subscribing. And I hope to keep a look out for the next one. See you next time.